You're listening to the AfterBuzz TV Network. Now the largest new media platform on the web and your number one source for after-show entertainment. Very good, The AfterBuzz Studios in Los Angeles, California. Presented by Maria Menunos and streaming live thanks to Akamai Technologies. This is AfterBuzz TV's Real Housewives of Atlanta, Candy's Wedding After Show. We'll break down tonight's episode and get you all the latest news and gossip. And now, another post-game wrap-up show for your favorite TV show. It's AfterBuzz TV's Real Housewives of Atlanta, Candy's Wedding After Show. Yo, what up, AfterBuzz? It's your boy DJ Jesse Janet here in studio for the Real Housewives of Atlanta, Candy's Wedding, Season 1, Episode 3, Mother Tucker. I'm joined in studio by my lovely co-hosts. We have Miss Anastasia Hunter. Hi. What up, what up? The one and only Cortez West. What's going on, everyone? Was in a bad mood today. Slight headache, slight headache. (laughs) Watch out for that one. A little bit of a toss-up here at the table. Some of us thought the episode was good, and some of us thought it was a drag. Mm -hmm. I thought it was a good filler episode, definitely a build-up for next week. What you thinking? Uh, It was slow at first, but I think it definitely built up at the end. (laughs) Cortez? I concur. What she said. What she said. That's what she said. All right, let's talk about the beginning. Uh, Candy and Todd are at a marriage counselor talking about mom, and basically... Todd just expresses. He's a pastor, not a marriage counselor. <laughs> but wasn't that he? They went to the pastor yeah. for a marriage he was, counselor. Well, yeah, for a marriage counselor, but he's not a marriage counselor. <laughs> well, you know, a lot of <laughs> no, religious I, people go to their right. counselors as a marriage. But counselor. say he's a pastor first, and then say for marriage counselor. Well, they didn't say they was going to church. They didn't say that they was talking to him no, about business they said about they getting were going married. To their pastor. To, to, for a marriage counseling but session. But why did they right. wait two weeks before the wedding to just well, start did to say get they do Mind you, you remember Real Housewives when they went the first time. Yeah. Yeah. And they then what's been going on since, since then? Yeah. <laughs> 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 Miss, missing a couple letters in between. Okay. Um, all right. So basically, we get the same shit out of it. Todd says that I feel Candy just can't control her mom. And Candy feels like, well, I don't think it's my job to control my mom. What? It's, it's not her job to control her mother, but it is her job to Make not it. stir the pot. Uh, but see, I do think there is a little bit of responsibility where you do have to control. Your, it, it's not about changing Mama Joyce, but it's about knowing Mama Joyce. You were raised with them. I know my family, so I know how to handle my family when I right. bring them into a situation. But you wouldn't go back and forth between this person and that person. Sure the fuck would. And that's exactly what she's doing. <laughs> I would read every one of my family for Phil. Exactly. <laughs> that's what she's doing. Um, we get the scene of Todd trying to make the bed. He's afraid for his mom coming over versus the old lady cooling the game. Uh, Am I the only person that noticed some dingy sheets? <laughs> <laughs> they look they got the from like Ann's like, linen. Candy. Really? <laughs> like, like I know y'all should uh, have better sheets than it is. Like at <laughs> least if it was a Target comforter, I would have felt cute. About it. What is the name of that store? That was old. Um, Anne's, Joanne. Anne's linen. Joanne's linen. Yeah. Anne linen. Linen. Yes. Anne's linen. <laughs> like, bitch, you guys just always got a sale. They got enough money. They can buy it okay, full they, price. I love it. Okay, <laughs> but I love I love that Kenny is so real in that in that arena. I mean, in that area that you know she doesn't have to put on, you know, like for anyone, not even for television. I love. No, that. I will give her that. Yeah, I she's mean, very authentic. Yeah. And that's why I think it's funny, and that's why I watch her, and that's why they let Todd Mama come on there with that weird looking like that. Or how about like, the, the fact that the she they now have Todd's this... Mama's is really big. Like, oh god, <laughs> that was fun tea. <laughs> what is her name again? Huh? Sharon. 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 I am Team yeah. Sharon. Me too. Well, Sharon looked like she got damn scars <laughs> under her titty. I'm Team Sharon. I'm getting starts, shanked. I'm Team Sharon in the she, third war. Until she starts mumbling. And you, <laughs> what? But the mumbling just adds to the buildup. I think oh, in the heat of the moment, you actually kind of understand what she's saying. <laughs> <laughs> so you just have to if follow her hand movements, <laughs> her gestures. 
and the way her head bobs, mm-hmm. you can kind of put it together. <laughs> um, all right, so Todd's mom shows up. Um, they're talking about how special Mama Joyce is and that she needs her medication. And then, whatever, I, that's cool to say that in front of Todd. But then when Candy came around, for you to say your mother needs These some meds, meds, like... Yeah, I think she, like she's this, added, right. I mean, I know we cool I, I feel but, like, look... She's this adding point, fuel to the fire. I mean, she may be adding fuel to the fire, but... Mama Joyce didn't already lit right, the, the fire. She didn't lit it already. <laughs> right, I mean, but I why just... jump to her level then? Because honestly, watching it when she said it, I said to myself like, Ugh, why did she even stoop down to you? Some, sometimes you have to just get no, with you somebody. Don't. She was not to there to make them understand. She was yeah. not there, and knowing that, but it's like we're on. They they also know that they're on television, so mm. this is a game. So it's like you they know have to all up. the slick shit that Mama yeah. Joyce is saying, and we just gonna sit on the show like. And they have to turn up for ratings. Mm. Mm-hmm. You know, they, we want to see Sharon and Joyce get into it. <laughs> if there has be been a, a reality fight. TV mm-hmm. show fight that I want to see, it would be them. Too. I, yep. I actually, agree. I kind of think that I would pay for that on demand. I would, and I don't pay for show. anything. On I demand. would watch that show if if Mama Joyce got a television show. I would watch that. No, I would. With her, I with her aunt and Bertha, that. yes, I would. <laughs> <laughs> I think I would yes, in I the would. beginning, but I don't of think course I, I could would watch in the beginning. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But then it would be like this show where I'm like, why the fuck did I sign up to do that? Stop! <laughs> 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 oh, <this> fuck! <laughs> All right. So, mom, you know she doesn't like that. Mama Joyce is threatening Todd. Now this whole threatening thing just keeps on becoming this elaborate story, and it's like. Even at, towards the end, where Mama Joyce explained what was said, do that when everyone's there. there. Not you keep telling Candy. Uh, clearly, Candy is not expressing the story to Todd and his mother because they feel like you are setting them up. Mm-hmm. I mean, I concur. she is. <laughs> I, I, yeah, I don't Mama Joyce expressed. I think she was. I no. think she was too. I think she was. I really See, do I don't. I, I honestly think the guy said something along the lines like, "Oh, you know, I can follow him around, take some pictures." He and, probably did. But and she, she was, was like, like "Oh, you, well, you, you get the pictures, something. I'll pay you." Right. Exactly. So <laughs> that's what it was. <laughs> She's trying to set him up. Exactly. Here's proof your man is not doing you right, so you need to leave him. And she would say, "Scum is a guy who thinks he's fine." <laughs> and she would say, "Foolery." What is it? Foolery. Foolishness? No, she said. Y'all go over there with that foolery? Mm hmm. Yeah. Um, <laughs> all right, so they go cake shopping. We get Tan, Candy, Todd, and Carmen. Tan and Carmen do not like each other, but their tea was just all types of old. Like, they tried to turn up, and there was no type of turn up. She was like, what? Like, what Tan, you, you face already look rough. Like, don't be giving them ugly looks. Where? Ah! Huh? At the, At the cake? The cake, the cake thing. place. Well, they, well, she spoke to her, and they gave her a slight little hug when she worked It in. was so And fake. Carmen is looking better. I don't know who's doing her makeup, but Carmen is looking better. But, um, yeah. Well, Tan probably does her makeup herself. Mm-hmm. You can tell. But, I, mean, <laughs> I car, like Tan. I li- no, I, I actually like Tan like over her. Carmen. Me too. But that face, though, looked like some tan <laughs> leather. Oh, she look- oh. That's not... That's not fair. What? I like her. There's girl, nothing just wrong with her. Just because you like her. There's nothing wrong with her personality, girl. <laughs> well, actually, there is something a little bit wrong with her personality. She's a little crazy. She's a little crazy. We're going to get to why she's crazy in a second. Calm down. Well, she can't be that crazy. She's married. Oh, um, I know some crazy married bitches <laughs> like girl by <laughs> who are just with each other just because they believe in religion and till death do us. Uh, so. <laughs> but Candy says that they have never been friends. Had a friendship, but they they've always been her best friend. Yeah, they tolerate each I other. Yeah, they that. tolerate each other, and I've been in that predicament before. But see, I, I I've been in that predicament to a certain point. I don't know. It's just interesting to me as Candy as a person that she just doesn't have control in her life over but. any relationship within her life because no. she couldn't even get her two friends together. How did which? Because I'm like, oh, none of my yeah, friends are from sense. the same groups, uh-huh. but when I bring them together, mm-hmm. they can all click with each other. Oh, you know what I mean? God. And even But if you I'm set not that vibe. There, you set that vibe. Though. I so, set the vibe. No, exactly. it's based on the, the So you already friend. know. She go back and forth between them. Yep. She go back and forth between our friends, yep. too. And her, right, her mom and her, yeah, her mom and, wow. I just had an aha moment because mm-hmm. I didn't even think about that. I did, right too. Now. Book. All types of tea clocks. So they're going to get this cake for $2,700. That is not bad for them. I was just, I was just for them especially. Mm-hmm. They could have spent way more. Yeah, I thought the cake looked cute. That dress one. 
Yeah, it wasn't the enough. Apples. But and yeah, I agree with Carmen, Carmen about that. It wasn't yeah. the, not the last cake that they was decided to look at the one they were looking at after the tasting, which I thought was really funny that Candy wanted to eat all the cake <laughs> on the plate. She I, said she was hungry. Yeah, but that don't make sense. Why wouldn't you eat all exactly. the cake? Exactly. I tasting. would too. Okay, and first of all, you they're giving you a damn s- skittle yeah, it's not bite. Like they're giving you whole now, slices. It's right. a tasting. You know what I mean? If it was all slices, <laughs> I'd be like, oh, yeah. let me take a little bite right. for me. It's, it's a tasting. It's just like when you go wine tasting. You don't drink the whole Well, then why would you give it. me a whole no glass? Little piece. Right. It's just you go back once you taste because you have to set your taste buds for the next Well, no, taste. she went around to taste the other yeah. ones and then she finished no. the ones that she liked. No, they could not move on because Candy went. <laughs> Well, Can't I went when I two. went cake tasting for my wedding. I ate the whole piece too. Yeah, girl, I went right up there. But you went on like TV though. Big. They was like this big, right? Yeah, they were like that big. You went on TV though. Cortez, if I, look, I, if I went, went cake tasting, you, yeah, if I went cake tasting with your big ass <laughs> and your ass is sitting there like. <laughs> I would look at you if like. If you don't put that whole slice in your mouth. Okay. <laughs> yeah, quit playing. That's a ratchet. I would look God, at you like, yo. you got balls, man? Oh, God, man. The fuck? I'm like, no, man. Y'all Eat that so, red velvet. Y'all so black, man. I'll call you anime. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, so Candy's dress at Rico's shop. Rico. What, what candy? What dress? Exactly. The feathers. Bitch, I'm talking about Fetish the Mr. Dress Pota- was cute. Mr. Potato Head damn dress over here that ain't even put together. He just bringing out. He got out, his mama upstairs. <laughs> he's bringing out Joanne <laughs> Fabric's pieces. Like, girl. <laughs> yeah, look it's at these. Candy's dress was nice. Gail and Kay. Phaedra's. I mean, Phaedra's. Phaedra's dress was nice. No, Phaedra's and I think this nice. one's going to be nice, too. But why even have me come down to the studio? Are you and this just was, what, 13 me? days before the wedding? It was nine and days. Nine days? Before the wedding at Rico's shop. And you still hadn't finished this, the nine bridesmaids like, that she has. And look, so this is going to go. Right here. <laughs> <laughs> and this is going to go right here. Like, so did you just take one of them damn nylon socks from the, the the shoe store and put that on me? Like, why are you putting that on my arm? <laughs> he wanted her to show Poor that Rico. the mesh was going to match her match her skin. Poor Tan. Tan's <laughs> What face. is the guy's name? What is, is his name? Kwame. Is Kwame, Kwame, right? Kwame. Kwame walks in and goes, always goes directly for Rico's throat. He goes, and he was like, so uh, what would Candy be trying on today? <laughs> Rico says, he got to get him together. Nothing. Yep. You need somebody. I'm <laughs> really upset that he gets more airtime than Don Juan does. Who, Kwame? Mm-hmm. Does he? I feel like it. Don Juan like wasn't in this episode exactly. at all. Actually. I was there. I live they his still trying to find too. They were still trying to find them strolls. <laughs> 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 they were trying to find them strolls. Oh. Them animals and giraffes. So then we get the, the, the meeting between Tan, Kwame. Wait, no, 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 no. I want to talk about how Rico just decides to put the placement of the, what's the bras, the bras made? Oh, yeah. How you going to do that? And then Candy just sits there. Like, well, no, with nothing to say. Because she was supposed to have feathers or something on her dress, too, right? Well, everyone's supposed to have feathers. So I think he was saying that he cannot order anymore. So someone has to go without feathers. That's, that's ratchet. <laughs> so she's the only one that went without and feathers. And that's why she stood next, next to, to Candy. Candy. But how Carmen was taken, it was so... Like, she wasn't cute. Exactly. No, that <laughs> the hottest can't be standing next to Candy. Candy has to be... Yeah, like she wasn't cute. Right, yeah. Pretty much. It's kind of sad. <laughs> But when you look at Tan and then, and then she, you look at Carmen, you're just like, okay. I'm <laughs> Tan. I mean, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Uh, Tan is clearly the Michelle of the group. Uh, ouch. <laughs> I ouch. like Tan. I, didn't I mean, like Michelle when can sing. I, I like, like Tan. Ooh. I, like I didn't like when Carmen said that. No, me either. I mean, she is cuter, but it's like. But it's, it's like, girl, Carmen, so at the end petty. of the day, still, bitch, you look like you, Dan, looked in some binoculars and got some rings around your Exactly. Eye. Who? Like, Who was that? So petty. Who? Carmen. Oh, okay. Tan, Kwame, Winnie, Phaedra, Rashida, and Ratchet Carmen. Rico. They go out for apps and drinks. Uh, Carmen, you look crazy talking about, I, I mean, if it's on Tan's car, yeah, I'm there. Boo. Drunk, like, yeah. lush. What was wrong with that? Huh? What was wrong with that? Don't be sitting here trying to throw all this shade at Tan, and, and then, then you, you sitting here eating on her, her car. Exactly. I'm talking about Tan ain't shit. Tan ain't this. Tan but ain't But I didn't that. like how Tan was like, what did she say about the colors? 
You the asked about the colors, and then you just tell yeah. what the yeah. colors are. No, I didn't like that either. Didn't that's like where that. I was. That's where I'm coming. When I say so I it, feel like Tan has some internal problems. Like she's like the ugly friend who finally has the spotlight, and she's gonna use it. She's gonna yeah. print it out. She's been up all night researching. <laughs> yeah. She's like, all right, so we're gonna do this for candy, guys. Everyone, <laughs> just come on. We're gonna sit here. We're gonna follow this. Um, you know, I was thinking about the bachelorette party. Does anyone think that we should go for midgets or should we go for male strippers? Okay. Well, I was thinking. More more of the midgets. No, it's going I to really be. don't care if that's, that's going to be. Yeah, you're right. I was thinking, she was like, what do you think about colors? When she was like, what did she say? White, gold, gold. and ivory or something? No, yeah, that's not going to work. It's not going to work. Yeah. yeah, like, why did no, you she say No, she said, it'll be something. Exactly. Some ugly colors, be. actually. It was some ugly, yeah, ugly like, colors. Well, damn, bitch, why is you even asking? You could have sent me this. In, like, that, <laughs> that's the one thing Carmen said. She could have sent me so that. Me that in text. And I also didn't like how Tan tried to read Carmen. In front of how, everyone. In front of everyone. And that was the wrong First time. All, to it people, wasn't her place. At period. all. And you sitting here talking about it wasn't your place to say anything to Mama Joyce. Well, bitch, this ain't your, your place, place to but here's say the anything thing, to but me. But here's the thing. Like, I definitely think that was a producer or director oh, set up for her. Sure. Um, because Tan doesn't really act like that, I don't believe. But at the same time, she still could have said no, but I, the reason why she, I understood why she did not say no. Because, I mean, we don't really pay attention to Tan. If she said yeah. no, she wouldn't have been able to have read off at the table. <laughs> but I loved how her cousin, when you got them together, right Ooh, quick. Shut up! Shut up! <laughs> Stop! <laughs> Bitch, I thought she was going to give us, she gave us a monologue. Everyone like, else waiting crying? for the music. Like, hmm. Because that's her cousin. Mm-hmm. That's and the only bitch. But they all cry. No, uh, all that bi- that's uh, the only bitch at that table that really rides for Ken. I agree. That bitch would fucking shank a bitch. This, if y'all mess this up, y'all don't have to deal with me. <laughs> <laughs> like I, I know y'all want to be on TV right now, but if y'all fuck up her wedding, <laughs> y'all don't have to deal with me. You're gonna have to deal I, with I, when I, he gonna come out? That was dope for me. Yeah. If you I think really you saw that. Bertha. <laughs> You don't want to see her daughter. Mm-mm. I like when the camera. I like when they catch Bertha in her like moments of saying something, but it's not, the camera's not on her. It's like we're going to commercial. Winnie. Yeah, no Bertha. Bertha. When she was like, "I'm gonna be drunk," <laughs> <laughs> and then we cut the commercial. I think that is so dope. <laughs> so Carmen, Todd, Candy. They uh, we find out that Carmen got the invitations for Candy. Congratulations, girl. Um, and it was so true what she said. Like, why do you have to get fired in order for you to do something? In order for yeah. you to to help out, yeah, she she was scared. But yeah. I don't think it, I don't think that was the show. case. I just think that Carmen and and um, Candy had a talk, and after the talk, Carmen was just like, "Okay, I understand my my friend's feelings. Let me put forth an effort." Mm-hmm. I don't think it's because she just necessarily got fired, but I do see what Candy was saying. It shouldn't have not gone to that point of me yeah. having us having to cry together or right. fuss back and forth. A true to, friend would have exactly. been on board from right. the jump. From the get-go. Whether you was the bridesmaid, the maid of honor, or nothing at no, all. Because yeah. Winnie, Winnie would have damn found a mule to get to India oh, okay. to get the scrolls. <laughs> Kenny would have had saying. some scrolls. And that's why you, you weren't here the, on the first Winnie one. Winnie as the maid that's of honor. That's what I was honor. telling. <laughs> Winnie, <laughs> <That's what I'm laughs> Winnie would have been damn cutting cutting up some papers, rolling them. Uh, right. I'll make these. That's what I was telling Jesse on the first show that it could have been done like there are so many avenues to get things done out of the ordinary here with so many events that go on you can get things done. oh yeah and i can understand the whole especially, fact that she's not even a planner but as exactly. her friend it's like you know her taste you know especially when candy says there's no budget there's no, there's no budget <laughs> come on, come on now. <laughs> <laughs> um so they're talking about the invitations um can todd's mom shows up mama joyce and the damn gang show up it was so awkward at the table, but I will say I was proud of Candy at first for at least being bold enough for that as long as she was, because I felt like it was longer than she normally will stand up to her mom. She was being the communication between Todd and the mom and, and Mama Joyce at first. At the dinner. At first, okay. at the dinner. Okay, okay. Right. And then it done got out of hand. Well, before, the funny well, thing is, before... When when Sharon first got there, which is Todd Todd's mom, she said to Nora, "Am I safe? <laughs> Am I gonna be safe? Cause y'all ain't gonna jump on me now." <laughs> yeah, like Nora was hugging her like. Yeah. They was like Nora was like, "Ah, I yeah. miss you." <laughs> Who's the one? What's the other one's name? That Bert, doesn't, Nora and Bertha. Bertha doesn't mm-hmm. like her. Mm-mm. She thinks she talks too much. Okay. I don't think that Bertha does not like her. I just think that she just has an opinion about her and it and it. She's team she talks Joyce. too much. Yeah, it's, of course. <laughs> but have you noticed like when Sharon left out of the room, she was like. All right, Bertha. She was like, okay, bye. Bye, baby. 
So yeah. I don't think there's like beef. Well, she never says that, that she didn't like her. She right. just she says she talked talk too much. much. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but which after hearing Bertha talk tonight, I was like, oh, now mm-hmm. I get why you can't deal with too many, too much vocabulary. <laughs> because you can't talk. Exactly. Because <laughs> that little split that she said, we were just like, huh? It's because Ty probably put created in the plan, plan for you <laughs> and. <laughs> What was Candace she said, huh? talking about? She really <laughs> no, and then this, look, she spun out of the chat and got up like she said something that was like deep. she yeah. created. Like, <laughs> I done figured it out. <laughs> Everyone looking over her like, miss. <laughs> what exactly? Oh, I done figured it out. <laughs> Just you retarded. <laughs> Mama Joyce. Uh, well, Sharon called Mama Joyce a bitch, and Mama Joyce went was about to get pulled. To- well, she started the whole thing. I will say. Well, let's Mama say Joyce. exactly. Yeah. Let's let the people know. Like, if who, if you didn't see it, you can see that. Mama um, Joyce started. Joyce was really started, and she was really about spending the night. How exactly. Long, how long you been here? Yeah. Oh, I've been here since Friday. Oh, but I I can't spend the night. Like, didn't nobody tell you that? Don't nobody want you over here cutting up? Now I was ecstatic that Joyce said something <laughs> to Sharon at first, but. As the to be dialogue messy. kept coming on, I kept saying, mm-hmm. oh, that, oh, she was being messy. Yep, to be messy. <laughs> oh, okay. Mama Joyce. And I was happy she, Sharon stood up and said, you know. No, I was happy that Candy was letting her know why she couldn't spend a night. I was happy was for that, too. Yeah. But, like Ty said at the end, I was I was just happy somebody was else was standing Mom, up. Right, because mm-hmm. Mama Joyce can dish it, but she can't She can't receive it. it. You're right. And he, Bertha, he I don't know what she was trying to say after that, too, because then she started going, and you shouldn't. <laughs> you, you shouldn't, shouldn't put her whole finger, <laughs> and she shouldn't put her whole finger. You shouldn't call her a bitch, and, but that you was after. and Bertha, Hold you up, shouldn't have been was, drinking. That was a, she shouldn't have been drinking, but that was after Joyce told her to shut the ass yeah. up. Yes. Did she and forget? So she and her pointed her finger in her face, and then Mama Joyce looked like she's gonna jump over the table. Like this is not. Well, Sharon my jumped up first. She yeah, should've. Sharon did jump up. With her hip. She should have. It was a hip first. She and really doesn't look like she got hip <laughs> replacement, though. She should have. Uh, um, I like how Nora gets quiet. I can respect Nora because Nora gets quiet because she does like Sharon. So yeah. if, you, if you're not going to take sides, just say, okay, all right. Yeah, I'll let that, I'll let Bertha don't give a f- flying rat's ass. Well, Bertha is right or die. I said something to, um, I hope Candy don't get mad at me for this. <laughs> I said something to Jesse outside when he was watching it. I said, <laughs> what did I say about Bertha? I said, um, <laughs> Bertha looks like she's been single all her life. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, she, <laughs> like she has never really, how am I? <laughs> like she lived with her mama. Oh, God. She, she lived with her she mama. Looks like the sister. Her mama just she passed. Looks, <laughs> That's <laughs> not funny. <laughs> Bertha looks like the sister that was always right or die for all her sisters, but like, she she's be giving, the one. She's the one holding the pocketbooks when they go out. To the she club. be give, She be the aunt that gives the biggest chocolate Easter bunny on Easter Sunday. And be like, let me go to Bertha's house. She's that aunt. Oh gosh. And then she wow. probably all it. that extra money because she has to spend it on man or kids. All right. Um, now we too see, busy over see. here shaking fingers. <laughs> well, bitch, what you want to shake? Because if you shake that head anymore, the wig look like it gonna fall off. <laughs> what does she say? You shaking your finger, I want to shake my finger. And we I just going to be two shaking, shaking finger bitches. <laughs> Candace said, mm. <laughs> can't believe my mom just said So that. then yeah. the genius, uh, the probably the only thing Bertha said that made sense is we need to start over. But I think Bertha was talking about the conversation because she wasn't really up to speed with where they were. <laughs> right. I, was, I thought that too. Candy and them y'all got so it. Rude. And when I say something, y'all get quiet and be like, oh, you so mean. What? See, now look at him See, just look. in his feelings. Are you gonna cry? <laughs> I don't do that. Do I? Girl, do I do that? You just did it. <laughs> oh, no. I don't know. What you're I'm it. not making fun of no one. I'm just describing situations. You know what I don't like? Now that I not now that I just think about it, why did Joyce bring her sisters? Why? Why do you think? Um, because if you, Mama Sharon needed her to bring her, her sisters, because sister. she was not showing up to that alone, she didn't know what to expect. Okay. Would Candy and Todd sitting there? No, it should have been a din- dinner just for the for I the agree, four. but I didn't expect anything less. But Carmen was there too. No, Carmen left. Yeah, they left. Oh, Carmen left just came show. to show the invitations. Yeah, and even when it, Riley had to go upstairs. <laughs> Poor she Riley. She needed to go upstairs. With a paper plate. Poor Riley. <laughs> With a paper plate. I didn't notice that. <laughs> <laughs> I said, oh, Candy. Uh, my, my mother would not let me bring none of the china upstairs. Mm-mm. I'm not sending. I'm not sending my kid on camera 
upstairs. But that's why you love candy. Right, that's real <laughs> shit. That's, the, that's, that's real shit. That's my mom would never that's let true. me outside. If you that's ain't true. eating in the kitchen at the dining room, then bitch, you ain't getting a plate. That is very If true. you yeah. want a plate, you can come sit with the family. Yeah. Okay, got it. And that was grown folk business. She didn't need to sit there. That's true. I right. wasn't saying she needs to sit there. No, no, because don't we also see Riley say something to the mom one time, like stop it in the future episode? Yeah, I think something. she's arguing with Candy. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, they don't need Riley around none of that. Todd jokes about Candy being pregnant. Mama Joyce was not having none of that. That nonchalant <laughs> look. Like, her face didn't flinch. She just said. Right, bitch. She pregnant. She gone getting an abortion. So, I mean, I don't know why we're <laughs> talking about this. Not at 37. <laughs> Looks all that money. I would hope not. Well. Nora said, oh! <laughs> <laughs> Nora flew back. No! <laughs> and on that note, let's head into predictions. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> And now, you're after Buzz TV predictions. Bachelor party, bachelorette party, strippers, Candy trying to act like she's, don't you be doing nothing crazy. I don't like, I hate when the women do Mama that. Joyce gonna be. Why? Mama Joyce gonna be at the y'all, bachelorette y'all, party y'all, y'all, and, the, and the bachelor party like, <laughs> <laughs> no. in the woods. <laughs> no, it's, her, it's the guy. Yep. <laughs> what was his name, Billy? I don't know. Benny or something like that. Uh, um, I mean, I don't know. What the hell do we think is going to happen? I kind of think that Candy is going to have a problem with some of the... Because I saw um, Old Boy from Love and Hip Hop. Uh, Kirk? Rashida Kirk. And oh, you know Lord. how Kirk plays. Yeah. So I was like, I think Candy is going to probably get, you know, some 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 information back. And she's not going to like it. And it's going to bring some little drama between Todd and Candy. Because we do see... Todd walks away. Oh, so you think Kirk is going to bring the drama? I mean, Cause I, that was just sh- my opinion. He, he sure be spilling all the tea on Love and Hip Hop. Yeah. <laughs> he, be, he be gossiping. Yeah. Like but, but here's the thing, though. It's 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 a um, Southern tradition at a what uh, a bachelor's party to have strippers. It's like known fact. It's like a known fact. Is that Southern? <laughs> that is, well, I mean, I don't, well, I mean. <laughs> I thought from that was just in, what they in the do. South, in the South. Like any bachelor Every- party like people out here seem to go to vegas to get strippers right, right. so what's the dip no, what i'm saying this is, is what's not the dip- southern, it's a southern. It's a southern. It's a well, southern. look he well, added that one in for when he get married they can be a this will be the last time i'm on the show with these two <laughs> i'm going to go to the show my god what the hell bitch i know it was a full moon last friday but what happened you sensitive all of a sudden <laughs> no i'm not sensitive i'm trying to have a god da- oh <laughs> 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 <I'm> <laughs> steve <laughs> said steve said oh no i'm good though that's right, we'll talk about it after the show. Yeah. All right. We're gonna go and then the prenup situation. Therapy. What you guys thinking about that? I mean, still, I'm y'all still the same I'm, spot? I'm curious to Girl, know you why. you did your eyes today. Did I? You did your eyes. That was like Candy's wedding. Candy, Thank that you. Little pin, that pin, little, little <laughs> mark right there. Candy's wedding. All right. So, anyways, but let's just end this damn show because we need to have a talk with Cortez. Cortez is going through, y'all. We want to thank y'all for tuning in. Make sure you guys check out Maria Menounos' The Every Girl's Guide to Diet and Fitness. It's available online and in stores everywhere. You guys can tweet us at AfterBuzz TV on Twitter, Instagram, and tweet me at DJ Jesse J. Bye, Felicia. <laughs> you can find me on Twitter at. L.A. Glam Realtor. All right. We want to thank you guys for Hold tuning up. in. <laughs> and on Instagram <laughs> at her underscore royal majesty. And there you guys have it. Thank you guys for tuning in. Make me. sure you guys check you us out next week. Same time, same place. You can find- From executive producers Maria Menounos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other after shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz you can buy me later. a quote and you West. The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals. 